I'd like to talk to you today about how I'm starting my gingham blankets. This would be just the all single crochet version blankets. And also to answer a few questions that I keep getting about the blankets. First one is, why do I do the chain with a smaller sized hook? Well, I do that because I don't like to have the chain saggy when I finish the project. And because when I start adding in the yarn, it increases the bulk of the project. So I've just um, chained this row with a smaller sized hook, and now I'm going to switch just to one size bigger as I bring in the new color. Okay, so this is how I am just starting this regular. I have um, chained a series of 10, which is the blocks will be 10 wide, and 10 rows high. This is for the all single crochet blanket. Of course, um, I do list pattern repeats in every other blanket pattern that I have, and then that allows you to customize the blanket to the size that you need. So when the pattern repeat is 10, that means I can just make the chain length any multiple of the number 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and here's 10. And so what you wanna do is just work half of the stitch and go ahead and um, drop that yarn. And what we're going to do is add in the medium color, which in this case is just a nice peach color. And I'm just simply doing that by pulling through on the 10th stitch. Now, what I do, this is be the tail. I don't, I don't worry about that tail, but I do need to worry about the tail of the white because I wanna crochet over that and bring it along with me because in 10 stitches, I'm going to be pulling it up and using it again. So all I do is I insert my hook into the spot and underneath the white uh, yarn and yarn over, and it tends to just cover it right up. So this is what I mean when I say I'm bringing the yarn along with me. Okay. Now I've also recently figured out how to keep the yarn from twisting. And that is what I'd like to show you next. So you're only working usually with two colors at a time. And so you're gonna wanna keep one color to the front and one color to the back. And how you do this is, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Sorry, I need more slack here. Should have got more slack out. Okay. So this is stitch number eight. Here's nine. Okay, so here's the 10th one. I'm going to stop and I'm going to keep this peach in the back. So that stays that way, so I just pull up the white. Okay, so now I'm going to be crocheting over the peach. But since I've only done a little row of 30, I really wanna show you really quick how to keep the white yarn to the front when you change. So I'm just gonna do five stitches here and I will show you because this will be life-changing. It has changed my life when I have figured this out finally. Now, what you're going to do is before you pull through with the new color, you're going to take this white yarn and instead of just dropping it and leaving it behind, bring it forward and kind of cross the yarn over, pick up the peach, and then work into that stitch. And that's what I mean, oops, sorry, sorry, sorry. Pull through with the new color. And now the white yarn is forward. And now you're going to work right into that and over and bring the white yarn around. Okay, I will continue and show you that again because I know it is so tricky and it's only, um, you know, one of the colors. So if like you choose 
the white to be forward, you need to always just do it with the white. So I'm chaining one and turning. Another common question is how do I turn the work? Just simply do the same thing and then the white, just tuck it around the side and bring it along with you. So I will continue to work into using the peach. And this is just the little section of five I did. This is purely for, just so you can learn this. Okay, so I'm keeping the peach yarn to the back of my work. So I just simply drop it. I go ahead and pull up and pull through with the white. Okay, but when I get done working the white, This is where it's very important you watch this next step. Okay, I'm done working with the white. I bring it forward. I pick up the orange, the medium color, and pull it through. Now that is forward. Now I pull that and go work into the next stitch and make sure the white is running through the work and I'm still bringing that tail along with me hope you really get that because now our yarn is not getting twisted. I used to not know that. I am so grateful to learn that trick because I would, I still, I still don't mind keeping my yarn in yarn bowls, but it has become a lot easier to make these gingham blankets if you do that trick. So here we go. Just drop the peach. It's coming to the back. I pick up the white. Okay, so that is what I wanted to show you today um, as you go about making your gingham blankets. It is just super helpful. Um, uh, I do cut off at the end, so you, the peach will be running throughout the entire, this medium color will be running throughout the entire blanket. So when I get done making my white rose, I will cut off the white yarn, and then I'll be adding in a darker color peach yarn and um, alternate the medium and the dark. That is how you get the gingham color. Remember to never altern alternate the dark with the white in a row. Otherwise, your blanket will turn out looking like more like a checkerboard. So anyway, I was excited when I finally figured out how to keep the yarn forward and how to keep one back, and that will keep your yarn from twisting on itself.